Hello, my name is Jean-Pierre. I live here in Ottawa, Canada. This city is the border between the corrupt English and my own Quebec. I have been an orphan now for seven years. I am currently 21 turning 22 soon. My parents died before I was in high school. I used to live in the Gatineau, now in the Ottawa. As a French man, I am trying to find myself and my place in Canada. I write for work, mostly about politics and how this country needs to change to make Quebec more accepted and equal. I hand out flyer with my view on them and sometimes sell my work to others with the same view on this country, its politics and its people. I recently started dating a girl here in Ottawa. It is hard for us because of our different views on life, politics, and... This too is the law. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that was a cop. You remember Santa's rule? No witnesses. So why the fuck did we hit school anyways? Santa, just don't ask questions. This better be what Santa wanted. Fuck cops. This is sacred. This is gonna be a fucking mess. Merry Christmas, sir. The suits are dead. 
cops finish him off with the money, it's gone. Huh? Huh? Thank you, sir. Huh? I know, sir. Santa's very upset about this. What's he gonna do to us? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Can he do that again? <laughs> I, I guess so, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Santa has another job coming up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who are we going to use? All the suits are dead. <laughs> you want me to recruit? <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, sir. I'll get right on this. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, and sir, what are we going to call the new team? <laughs> Santa wants us to get more recruits? Seems so, Elven brother. Head Elf gave me a folder of some guys he's been looking into. These guys look like shitheads. Wait a minute. Is that Dustin O'Shea? It is. How does Santa want us to get this guy? I really don't know. But if we can get him, he'll be leading the hit. Definitely he's a fucking drunk though. After his brother Jose O'Shea got killed on that job with him. If we get him, and he can get his act together, I hope these other shitheads will be able to help him out. This is a big job and he's never worked for Santa before. Great. Just find that Mexican fat ass. I know this man whore. We gotta get him some burritos. It's the only way he'll talk. Creeping up on you right now, baby. Gentlemen, would you care for a good time? It's fucking crowd. Well, looks like we're gonna have to get loose. Ah! Ah! Give me the folder. Your face! Oh, oh your face! Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Shit, man. Any ladies today? Yeah, dude. A few. Most of them are old, though. Saggy, everything. Shit, man. You're the lucky one. Dames always go for the sexier, man. I've been getting penis all day, fuck. Yeah, man. I had a sausage party. I was mashed between two Germans all day. The stink of them. Anyways, are you going to the other corner now? Yeah, I'm gonna try over there. Or maybe I'll steal some of Remy's business. He always gets the rich old bitches, you know? Peace outside. Fuck, I want a burrito. Maybe we can be of some help. Shit, man, what do you want? 
We need some info. Maybe you can help us, maybe you can't. We're looking for someone, Dustin O'Shea. Yeah, I know that maricón. He's not one of my tricks. He goes for the ladies out here. Yeah, I know him. He's a drunk now. What do you want with him? Listen up, you hairy piece of fucking shit. You got your fucking burrito. Tell me what you know. Yeah, vato. He's a drunk now. Why don't you try the pubs at Finnegan's? Perfect. Thanks. Oh. Try to cut back on the burritos. Fuck you, maricón. Shit! Settle down, officer. Sorry, Dustin. You know how I am. Forgot your meds, eh? Yeah. Shit! I did. Look, you gotta be quiet, okay? You already got us booted out of two bars today. Sorry, Dustin. Okay, boys. Can I get you anything else? Um, I think we're okay, Terry. It's uh, you know, we've been in here since sunrise drinking, I guess. <laughs> Um, actually, on second thought, I'm a little uh, hungry. I'd, I'd like a poutine. All right, sweetheart. I guess maybe you should take a break. After all, you boys have been in here every day for the last two weeks. Yeah, well, Osner keeps getting us kicked out of the bars in the city. I said sorry, Dustin. He's got Tourette's. Oh, I see. Well, I'll be right back with your poutine. All right, thanks. <laughs> Pictures again. Sure. I don't know what good they'll do you though. O'Shea wasn't in Finnegan's or any of the other bars in town. Santa and Hellof want him, so that means we get him. <sighs> Looks like they're not here either. Follow me. Where are you going, Bear the Elf? I just saw Dustin O'Shea leaving the bar.
look what the wind blew in. Well, fuck, George the Elf. What are you two doing following us? We aren't looking for trouble, Dustin. We have a business proposition for you. If it's a job, you can forget about it. Santa and you guys know, I don't do those anymore. I'm retired. Look, look, Dustin. It's more of a scouting mission. I just need you to put a team together. You have a team. The suits. They're on vacation. Come on, Dustin. It's nothing like the job I lost your brother in. What'd you say about my brother? Yeah, you fucking... George the Elf, shut up. Dustin, sorry about your brother. Look, just do us this favor. Put the team together. Well, if I do, I'm taking Osner with me. Fine. How much is the pay looking like? 3,000 if you recruit, 100 grand if you go through with the hit. And if you take him, you're gonna need another seven men. A nine-man job? It's a big hit, and you'll be leading it if you take it. Come on, Dustin. Back on the horse. Hundred grand's a fuckload of money, Dustin. All right, I'll take the job. Okay, good, good. This is a folder with some possible candidates. Use them unless you can find better. What's the job? You get the lucky seven together, contact us, and we'll give you a briefing. Everything else he knows, inside that fucking folder. Jeez. Look, Dustin, this is a chance to redeem yourself. Clean the slate. Don't fuck up. You have 24 hours to get your team assembled. Don't worry, I won't fuck up. Osner, looks like we got a job to do. Banana Lano. So who are we going to get first? I've got one guy lined up. Um, I did a few jobs with him a few years ago. I think he's a janitor now, in this building. Must be a hell of a job. 28 fucking stories. I think he's the only one, too. Who is he? Laszlo Gerb. Let's go fucking get him. Someone says fly, you get the image of a stereotypical preteen adolescent. Who abstinence is just a part of it, so he feels as he's regarded as a higher being. Like all the guys I'm seeing that hop on a beat and repeat the mindless reasons why they're so hardcore. This is verbal parkour, and you couldn't last a second with this war torn lord of the shores of hell. Like 264, the world ain't you ready for me yet. Get out of there! I'm going for a shit! Leave me alone! Sid, get out of there! Oh. I said I was going for a shit! Dustin? Yeah, it's me, Laz. It's been a while, eh? You still like that fucking bread? You're fucking right, it has! Jesus Christ, the last time we were together was with uh, Uncle Jemima! That was a dirty old job, eh? Lots of blood and bullets. I love that one. Oh. Yeah. Okay there, Les. We got another job to do. A job? I thought you didn't do jobs anymore, Dustin. After, uh, Jose's death. Yeah, well... I got back on the horse. Are you coming or not? Oh, I don't know, Dustin. I, I don't do those jobs anymore. 
I'm a janitor now. I, uh, I love it. It's just me and my bread all day long. It's fucking delicious. I don't know, Laz. If you jump on board with us, it's a hundred thousand each. That will buy you a hell of a lot of bread. A uh, hundred, a hundred dollars! Holy shit, that is a lot of money. That's a lot of fucking bread. You can count me in, Dustin. Laz, it's a uh, it's hundred grand, not a hundred dollars. I could buy you a fucking house of bread if you want. Laz, come on, when's your shift done? We've been waiting here for two hours. We have 24 fucking hours to recruit nine guys, all right? We don't have time for this shit, come on. Yeah. I just gotta get this gum off, give me a minute, all right? Laszlo, do you have a bread fetish or something? You went know fuck off, eh? Come on, Laz. Tell Osner the uh, tale of the bread. Okay, but only because you asked me to, Dustin. Well, it started off with Betty Ann and it ended with Betty Sue. It seemed every woman I was ever with sexually turned out to be a lesbian. I, ever since, I just turned to bread to dull the pain. But Laz, uh, tell Osner there, what kind of breads? They're phallus-shaped. Well, anything long, pretty much. I like uh, sub buns, um, croissants, if in company of the French. <laughs> but um, baguettes and French bread, long French bread, is my, uh, my personal favorite. <laughs> mm. Talking about all this penis shaped bread, it's making me fucking hungry. Let's get something to eat. Yeah, I guess we can go get some eats. Uh, Laszlo, since you took so much fucking time, we can't go to a nice Irish pub. So we're gonna have to hit up the fucking shitty French restaurant, Le Café de Neige. Thank you. Hey, you love your fucking bread there, eh, Laszlo? Hey, fuck, What's Dustin, up? over here. Not, fuck. You guys got a table? Right here. Laszlo, you forgot your gun. Can we get some food here, eh? Can we get some food, please? Maybe a poutine or something? I'm hungry here. Holy fuck, these are small proportions. What the fuck do you think I am, a fucking Frenchman? I know what you mean, Osher. A gourmet meal in Montreal consists of a piece of celery with some soy sauce and a line on a plate. Shit! This bread's the only fucking thing that's any good in this world. Well, yeah, yeah, and it costs like $20. Fucking box! Hey, hey, Osner, settle down. That's what we call racism. It's racist. Sorry, Dustin. It's, it's true, though. Anyways, guys, talking about racism. Do you remember the original Power Rangers show? Not the 20 new ones they've created off of, but the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from, like, the 90s? Man, those were the days. Go, go, Power Rangers! Yeah. Yeah, I remember that show. They sure milked that cow's penis. Anyways, 
Do you guys remember the color of the Power Ranger suits and the culture behind that suit? No? Okay, well, the Black Ranger wore black, the Asian Ranger wore yellow, and the Red Ranger, who is native, wore red. Do you get what I'm saying here? What's your point? Oh. That it's racist, dumbass. The color of their suits was the color of their culture. That's racist. It was a good show. No, it wasn't. Fuck, let's just go. Yeah, sounds good. I'm tired of this frog meal anyways. How dare you insult their friends? Le Jacques to me! Oui, Jacques! This was a French poolside restaurant, Osner. You see what you get when you're racist? Meh. It was worth it. You want to talk about French bread? I've bought better French bread from Kim Wuruk Sang store. Hey guys, I'm I'm Tiku. I'm an American. Uh, it's my first time in Canada. I was wondering if I could help you guys out. Fuck, Fuck off. off. You two stay here. You fucked up enough. I'll let you boys handle this. possibly have. That's gotta be everyone, right? Who else could be left? Let me in. Je suis un nanana. Je suis un nanana. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a fucking mime. I've heard this guy. He's nuts. Power to get 
too much. Mind this. What's your name, stranger? All righty, let's go. Ah. Oh, just me, sir. <laughs> yeah. I have good news, sir. Dustin's taken the job and he's already started recruiting. Huh? He should be on his rounds as we speak. <laughs> yeah. Does Santa want anything else from me, sir? Uh, uh, <laughs> of course, sir. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Thank you. you look good in that hat, sir. Happy New Year. Uh, I don't know about you, but I need to mute, but I like a lot of bread. What do you like? This guy's creeping me out, Dustin. He doesn't say anything. You sure we need him? Yes, we do need him, Osmond, okay? You saw how he handled himself back there, alright? We do need him. I guess. Where is this place? There's 12. It's down there. Let's go. This is the address, right? Yeah, it is. Is anyone there yet, Dustin? Osner, I just fucking knocked, all right? Settle down, there's nobody there yet. They told me once, they told me twice, they said that love would make it right. But love just made this complicated. Now I'm stuck in isolation. Whoa! What kind is this crutches, man? They told me once, they told me twice, they said that love would make it right. But love just made this complicated. Now I'm stuck in observation. Are you, uh, Patrick Mina Moon Ranson? Well, Mina Moon is my stage name, but I. Oh my goodness! Are you Dustin O'Shea? Yeah, that's me. Oh, my brother and I are huge fans. We heard you're the cleanest hitter in town. Uh, thanks, I guess. Well, what brings your sexy little buttocks around here? Um, we, uh, we've got a job coming up. I was wondering if you and your brother would want to take part. It's $100,000 each. Ugh, money is no issue, trust me. But to work with you would be a pleasure. Uh, Patrick, is your brother here? We were hoping that he'd uh, take part in the job. Oh, Reggie? Oh, he'd be delighted to. 
He's upstairs now, though. He's kind of recovering. Recovering? Well, <laughs> yeah. I can get a little rough in bed. He's a little torn. Uh, I, uh, I see. Could you, uh, get him for us, please? With pleasure. Reggie! Get down here! Oh, there you are! Get upstairs, you fucking bitch! Wait, excuse me. I think he's gonna need a little spanking. What the fuck did you say about his brother? Tor! What the fuck were you talking about? Fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. I don't know, according to that file it said that they were ruthless killing machines and they've done a lot of jobs together. We need them. Hmm, well, we could use that. Yeah, as long as they don't try to tear us. Come on, man, alright? We have 24 hours to get nine guys. We need these two. Look, we may have to go into the elves tomorrow, that meeting, with eight instead of nine. I don't want to deal with the fucking outcome of that shit, all right? Well, maybe they've got the ninth. Yeah, I really hope so. Because I've heard Head Elf and Santa can be brutal. If we don't get this done, boys, we may rather be torn by these two. Well, I don't know if, about you fucking guys, but I'd rather take the brutality from the North Pole than be fucking torn. Okay, we're ready. We're all sexy to go. Oh, fuck. He won't leave me alone. Hey, guys, having a shindig? I... Oh! Oh! Shit? Where the fuck is Patrick? It's your fucking tomahawk! Get your guns, boys! I'll teach you to steal from our native casinos. You miss me, you fucking Indian. Fuck those reserves make them tough. No, it's not the reserves. It's that old mech blood in them. It runs thick. Uh, whatever. He's dead. Patrick, come on, get Reggie. We're going to get Jemima. Let's go, boys. Dustin, I feel you, I got a lot of respect for you, but you can't have my man Brent. Jemima, look, okay, I just need him for one job, he's an integral part. 
Shit, Dustin. You know we got a huge job coming up for my man, the Grand Grand Moon Moon Bra. You know how he is. If he doesn't get his job done right. Do you mind, man? Do you remember a few jobs back? It was me, you, Dustin, and Randy Rand. Remember that? Dustin saved your life. You didn't even see that pig coming. You owe him. Okay, Dustin. After this, we're even. Because our job may be fucked up now without Brent. Thanks a lot, Jemima. It means a lot. All right. I'll walk you boys out. Yeah, you know what? You know, that's a good fucking idea because them churches, they might be around still. Reggie, uh, what are you doing in the kitchen? But my, my sausage not enough for you? Put that back. Do you guys work for Santa? You're fucking dead! He's a turkey. Jesus be with you! Brent, go get him. What you gonna pay for your job, man? Santa has guaranteed us $100,000 each if we go through with it. Well, I suppose this Santa guy isn't bad at all. Because my own man, Moon Moon Rai, ain't paying me no $100,000. So in that case, you can see I'm in. Awesome. We need you, Jemima. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. Yo, man, what are we doing in the kids' room? Man, Dustin, this whole operation is shitty. Well, I don't know about you, but my brother and I, we like the kids because we like to call them the Baldies. Just hold tight, guys. They probably have this as a cover, you know? So we uh, don't get any, you know... Unwanted attention. Mm. Oh. Oh, God. I haven't read this one in years. For God's sakes, Laszlo, put down the book. Sorry. Hey there, Barry the Elf. Uh, you didn't give me enough time to get number nine so I got us eight I hope that won't be a problem mmm we figured that might be an issue don't worry we took care of number nine for you who is it oh you'll see she's been well briefed she's I don't work with any she's fucking bitch shut the fuck up Osner sorry Dustin the meds 
I see you guys get along just fine. All right. On to the next point of business. Briefing and code names. Oh, Jesus Christ. Code names? I hope I'm dominatrix. There will be no more interruptions. All right. This is important stuff passed down from Santa. This is a big job. Nine people. That's why you're here. We're going after our rivals in the drug business, the Cartolinos, led by Breno Rampiana. Bastard. They're a well-run business. A lot of guns, well-trained guns, out of South America. They do not fuck around. Yeah, yeah. I don't fuck around either. Shut up. Okay, look. Head Elf gave me a few notes yesterday. The Cartolinos drug house is located on a farm just outside Ottawa. You're going in for a quick hit. You're going to take out the guards. You're going to steal the plants from inside the house, and then you're going to torch it. The plans have all of their moves in this city and the regions around it. We need those. Santa needs those. You're going to get them. Where'd we get the fucking code names? <sighs> Osner, you'll get them in a second. Okay, we expect a lot of firepower at their location. And due to their location, you'll most likely be carrying handguns. It's going to be quite lopsided for you. So be smart, be civil, and most importantly, be resourceful. If they hear you, you're dead. If they see you, you're dead. If they smell you, you're dead. Capiche? Um, can I bring a loaf of bread along, or is that going to be too much for transportation? It's very important, and I know. Laszlo, I swear, if you bring a loaf of bread on this hit, I will make sure that the coroner's report shows that you died from a baguette up your ass. Moving on, we're going to code names now. Now, you might remember that our last team was called the Suits, after the Suits in a deck of cards. Now, if you think cars, obviously the next thing you immediately think is Christmas. Cards and Christmas. And who transports Santa during Christmas? Reindeer. Well, what about Kwanzaa? Because, you know, Uncle Jemima doesn't celebrate Christmas if you understand what I'm saying, baby. I understand. I'm sorry to snow all over your holiday, but there are no reindeers in Kwanzaa. You will be the reindeer, and that's final. <laughs> Man, Dustin, you's a drunk, right? You can be ruled off. Hey, fuck off, Uncle Jemima. All the other reindeer have black noses. I think you're the only one here with that. Man, you guys are racist. Not my problem. We're just kidding around, Barry the Elf. We're a good team. You better be, because when the bullets are flying, you guys are all you guys have. All right, Dustin, you're leading the hit. You're Comet. Laszlo, you're Cupid. Cupid? That's gay. Give that name to the gay twins. Laszlo, you'll take the names you're given. Don't make me get head elf down here. Osner, you're Blitzen. Blitzen? <laughs> I got a cool fucking name. Benny the Mute, you're Dasher. Brent, you're Donner. Uncle Jemima, you're Dancer. Hell no, I ain't. Then Dancer and Prankster should be for the two gay twins over there. Come on now. I thought you didn't know about Reindeer Jemima. You're Dancer. Patrick, you're Prancer. Your brother Reggie's Rudolph. Who? Exquisite Reggie. We have sexy names. I'm going to rape you later. The ninth member of your team, who's been waiting in the back this whole time, is Vixen. Vixen, come on out. They told me once, they told me twice, they said that love would make it right. But love just made this complicated, now I'm stuck in observation. They told me once, they told me twice, they said that love would make it right. But love just made this complicated, now I'm stuck in observation. You didn't even see me coming. 
rest and kept myself in check and to the rest of the world we appear to be happy No fucking way, Bear the Elf. Maggie, you're not coming on this one, alright? Remember what happened to Jose? I'm here to keep you in line. I'm a grown woman, you can't tell me what to do. You killed Jose. You know, I can't even look at you, you fucking drunk. Hey, yo, Dustin. Is that your sister, man? Damn, she fine. Shut up, Jemima. Ah, well, good job, Bear the Elf. Who's the fuck not to set that one up? The job's never gonna get done with those two on their backs the whole fucking time. You might be wondering why Dustin and Maggie are together on this job. It'll be good for both of them. Keep them on their toes. It's everything for now. You're expected on the farm in two days at 0900. I'm gonna give you boys a call tomorrow and see just how hungover you are. Get out of here. What can we do to help, Dustin? Fuck off, Laz. I just need some time right now. Man, things will be different right now, Dustin. You probably learned from Jose's death. And the elves, they're probably not gonna change their decision. So we gotta live with it, you dig? Yeah, I dig. I just need some time. Santa's reindeer have been bad this year. Let's go get fucked up. Second that one, Osner. I'll tell Dustin when he's cooled down that we're heading out. Now remember, boys, the job is two days away, and it takes the average human three days to recover from a big night of drinking. Well, unless you're eating some bread, right? <laughs> so, uh, take it easy, don't get too plastered tonight, and me and Dustin will meet you there soon. Finnegan's it is. Best bar in town. Dustin, get up. I just got off the phone with the elves. Seems they have a small job for us. It's gonna help our team building. Is Maggie gonna be there? No, I got the elves to keep her company for the day. I told them you needed more time. Thanks, Laz. What's the job? Damn Grenardish. Hawk! Her name is Old Eulabelle. <coughs> We're after her diamond, which is right here, as per requested by the elves. Its name? The Crimshaw Main. What the shit, Dustin? We're too hungover for this shit. I know, Osner. I'm feeling pretty rough too, okay? Now look guys, apparently the elves and Santa want this done. They want us to pull off one big job before we do the even bigger one. Alright, it's a team building experience. Okay? Is Maggie coming in? She's HOT! No, she's not, Osner. Okay? Any other questions? Alright then, let's start the briefing. Okay? Old Eulabelle is a crazy old bitch. She's a stay at home and she's not alone. Her sons guard the house. Osner, shut the fuck up. All right, this is important. Oh, shit. Yes, I've heard of her. Oh, fuck. Old Eulabelle. Yeah, apparently those sons do more than just watch the house, is what I've heard. Some of those sons are their fathers, too. No shit. Yes, it's true, Laszlo, but that's not the point. We need to get this diamond. 
These sons of Eldon are armed and ready to put their lives on the line for their mother and lover. Also, the diamond is worth approximately five million on the black market. So we gotta get it. Running through the backyard and into the house. Holy fuck, can we keep the diamond? No. But if Santa can sell this diamond on the market, we're gonna get a percentage on top of our hundred grand from the Cardellino's job and Breno Rampiana. Awesome. Ooh, are these sons sexy? Because Reggie and I, well, we're, we're still a little drunk and a little randy and probably going to be like that for the rest of the day. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Patrick. All right? Rudolph, you too. Okay, I see you snickering there. Ah, oh, that reminds me. We're sticking with our reindeer code names for this job, boys. All right? If I hear any of you calling yourselves by your real names, fucking dead. Yes, Dash. Yeah. Laszlo. I'm Comet, alright, you fucking retard? Yes, Comet. Fuck. Can you remind me of my code name, Dustin? I kind of forget. Holy fuck, Osner. Alright. One more time, guys. I'm Comet. Osner, you're Blitzen. Alright? Laszlo, you're Cupid. Benny the Mute is Dasher. Jemima is Dancer. Brent is Donner. Patrick is Prancer. And Reggie, you're Rudolph, okay? It's the last fucking time I'm telling you guys. What about what about Maggie? Vixen. Let's go. Dancer and Donner, you watch the back. Cupid, crowd control and pig watch. Myself, Blitzen and Dash are going into the house. Prancer, you and Rudolph are recon. No, oh, Rudolph, not yet! Let me! Let me! Fuck, Patrick, use code names! Fuck, Reggie's dead. His bowels were released, you can smell it. The stink of it. Anybody comes in through that door, shoot. What's he going in? Hi. What are you for? You have pubic hair yet? You have pubic hair? You have pubic hair yet? It smells good. I hope you guys are real hungry tonight. Cook this. Ozzy, don't shoot them, alright? They're fucking retarded. They're not deaf. Fuck! Alright, shoot them. Here's your fucking supper. I made it extra sloppy for you.
Tell me where the fuck we'll do about this right now. I want to get the fuck out of this haunted house. Downstairs! What a fucking horror show. This place is fucked. I go downstairs. Into the belly of the beast. Mother, I can't let you in. Can you beat my magical powers? Can you see me? Can you see me now? I saw you the whole time. You've killed my sons and lovers! Where's the diamond, you will I can't believe the diamond was in her vagina. This Santa Claus is fucking sick. It's fucked. Come on, lads, let's go! Mm. Do you have pubic hair yet? Do you? Oh, wait, I fucking took you boys long enough. You ready? Gee, let's go. Hey, buddy, there's a little bread for you. It's good talking with you. <laughs> Give me that fucking bread back. Why don't I always get some fucked up jobs? Alright guys, we have uh, a little bit of a problem. I only saw one guard. Which means uh, Santa either terribly misinformed us, or that Renault Rampiana and his men have been tipped off. Doesn't matter, the mission's the same. We've gotta go in and grab the plans. Cripple's drug dynasty. I'll go over the groups again just so you guys remember. Dancer, Donner, Dasher, Laszlo, Cupid, you guys are together. Prancer, you're by yourself. Yeah, you're taking time bomb, we can't have that. Blitzen, me, and Dixon. How come I'm going with you guys? I can handle it on my own. We don't have time for this, Maggie. Come on. Don't do anything stupid this time. This fucker's right to the picking. Let's move it.
I'll tell you what it was. What it was was a Derringer. Derringer. Yeah. That's like a Derringer 1970 something. I don't know. 70. Probably when my, my grandmama was a virgin or something like right, that. Right, grandma. That was a long time ago. Okay, long. Very long time ago. Now, when you hear a Derringer, don't be scared at all because when you have something like this, a Desert Eagle 1979, that's like a couple of years later, you know what I'm saying? When you hit someone with that, they ain't going nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Right. They're gonna run away just six feet under. Yeah, man. Six feet. I understand that. Man, you shut up, man. You yeah. shut up when I'm talking, you know what I'm saying? I'm the one with all the all them parables and proverbs and all that. Right. The pimp, man. What kind of name is Dancer anyway? Fuck, I don't know, man. I got I'm Jemima, I'm the pimp. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. What are we doing here? The plans are probably in here, alright? Santa said that they're somewhere on the farm. We gotta check everything. Look, you're not leaving us into shit again like you did last time, are you? No, I'm not, mate. Alright? I already lost to the I won't lose you too. That's why you're here with me and Blitz. Fuck! Yeah, I feel safe. Vixen, myself, and Blitzen are going for the plans. The rest of you guys stay out here. Stay frosty. If you hear or see anything, yell. Come on! Suck. Let's go. Fuck! Fuck. Man, we got two essays on the corner. Oh, fucking plans aren't in here. Yeah, no shit. What do you suggest? I don't know. Head up to the hayloft. Check it out up there. We don't have much time, though. I think uh, I think we're in trouble. Jesus, you can't do anything right, can you? It's okay, Brent. It's just Mexican blood. Man, this guy's in the wrong movie. Man, that song was whack anyways. Oh man, we gotta take cover, man. Moving on up, now, now, go, go, go. Brent, come on.
it's perceived as such Can I relax? Can I get some shut eye? I'm sleeping heavy cause I need some love, right? Past exes creeping up on my subconscious It's not enough that my buttons are are pressed Ten months since I fucked, ten months since sex It's gotta be enough for this Is a constant reminder why you're no longer in my life. So please stop trying. So please stop trying. El Duende Jorge. It's George the Elf, you speck. So please stop trying. So please stop trying. Man, there's a lot of tacos out there. I'll bring the sauce on. Point, just, just, just hang around. What? What are you doing? Yo, let's get the fuck out of here! Yo, go, go, go! Oh shit! They got something right. Go, go, go! Where is it? are not up there. We gotta keep looking. Of course they're not up there, Destin. They're not, they weren't even here in the first place. What happened to Brent? What the fuck's going on? Got shot, you fucking son of a bitch. That's right, man. A man got shot. Look here, Dustin. Me and you, we've done this many times, but shit like this, it's a whole suicide mission. That's right. They got about 30 people out there, you know what I'm saying? And they're like six and a half of us. They got semi-automatics over there, man. And we got, we got these. Like I said, we gonna die. Great leader you are, Destin. First you get Jose killed, now you're gonna get all of us killed. It's not my fault. Something went bad here. We gotta get up to the hayloft. We'll have higher ground. <sighs> Jemima, you, Osner, stay with Brent. Keep guard down here. Four of us are going up. Come on. Try to save your fucking asses. Let's go. Fuck! They're coming to the fucking side, man! Man, go check it out. I'll stay with Brent. Cock! Shit, fuck you, man!
listen to that. I had those fucking Latinos climb through the window. Let's go. And one of those fuckers is over there. Got him. Osnar, the mom of them, get your ass over here, man! Fuck! Hurry up! Vagina! Got hit again! Come on, let's go, let's go, man! Let's move, let's move! Man, Brent don't look too good, yo. Well, how the fuck do you think I feel? Man, I don't think we're gonna make it, yo. And Dustin, I hope you're okay. Nicely done, Benny the Mute. Nicely done. Where the fuck did you work before Cafe Dinesh? Denny's? Cupid, Vixen, come over here! We're fucked. Ah! Yo! You watching this man? Are you watching this me in action? I almost lost my comb, man. I'm saying it's my last one. Now watch and learn, okay? Brent! Oh shit, Brent! Brent! You fuck shit! Guys, we're fucked up, Justin. Yeah, yeah we're, we're pretty fucked up, Lazlo. We went through a lot of shit, but nothing this bad. It was a good go, Justin. I want to know who the fuck fucked us over on this one, that's what I want to find. You weren't planning for this, were you? No. Jemima, just fucking go, man. I'm fucking done for. Just fucking go! Justin, me and Ben, you're fucked. Jake, Maggie, get out of here. Get down to the basement. You don't want to happen to Jose to happen to her, man. Go, just go. We'll hold it off. Laszlo, there's a lot of bread where you're going, man. Maggie, come on. Upstairs. Where the fuck is Ozzer? Over there. Just look carefully. Oh my god. Dustin, what do we do? We're surrounded. I don't know, everyone's fucking dead. 
Just get out of here. What? I'm serious. No, I'm not leaving you. Look, Maggie, Jose's death has been in my conscience for the last three fucking years, all right? I think I should go see him. Look, I already lost Jose. I'm not losing you, too. Just go! Dustin, go, go! with me. Go! Go with me, Dustin! Just go! Take the gun, cock it back, put it right up to my temple and let it go. Let me know you can see And I say that shows just what happened and what you did wrong. Or maybe you'll find nothing which is most likely the scenario. Cause whatever the situation was, you're still the one who took the shot. So looking in the mirror, maybe you'll see what you could never find. Say that you were blind with all those people. You two, up to the hayloft. Go clean that shit up. Hello, George. Yeah, as long as they don't try and tear us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll do it again. Yeah, as long as they don't try to tear us. Come on, man. Think they call it head. Think of this as an honor for the both of us. It's not so tough. These bottles got us opening up to each other like Mopara. I like to fill her for a little, then I twiddle her for diddle. That's code for I think This is the address, right? Your age. We may rather be torn by these two. Right. You like that, eh? <laughs> we don't show up tomorrow with the right amount of guys. <laughs> we may rather be torn by these two. Right in there. <laughs> As long as they don't try to tear us. Come on, man. At this rate, we won't even have nine for tomorrow. TD in the movie. That'd be good. We need them. I'll say it again. We need them. Yeah. As long as I was it. Yeah, the car fucked up. Sorry. Camera. Action. Nine. I don't want to deal with that shit. Fuck. I always like this when we make love. Back in my hotel room and soon I'm gonna be back there with her. If she doesn't put it out, then I'm gonna fuss See, that's why I need this liquor Cause I really would like to lick her Think of this as an honor for the both of us It's not so tough These bottles got us opening up to each other like Mopara I'd like to fill her for a little Then I'd twiddle her for diddle That's code for I think you know A bottle of this and we gon' get it all tonight A bottle of that and she gon' take it all tonight We got this party poppin'
You shouldn't have said that fucking thing. It's a sprint and I'm in it and I'm going in it Nice guys are last but dicks don't finish The fog gets thicker, the heart beats quicker Visions blurred and instincts slurred A buoyant sinker, oxymoronic thinker Curse, concern, confer They're worried that they all agree I'm a prodigy The prophecies combined the powers got me in a lot of heat And this ain't kayfabe, I'm the baby face who's booed The John Cena and the jealous full of fools And fans who constantly Fucking torn. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody even know who I am? Does anybody even know my name? You don't hear me complaining though. Realize that real lies always see real lies. Deception never escapes detection. If runaways could only have more fun today, maybe they wouldn't run away. They'd only to run their way Nothing says trust Like having trust the faith Will carry you along your way Carry you towards your fate Average days in average places Vanish, erase from your path What's next for you to face? Luthes press Full force, you grab and erase Any opposition, you hack them And graphically slay Hurricane Rana, you surprise them You flip them right off you Nobody can stop you Use your head to exceed like it's soccer
to life back to reality back to back to life back to reality back to reality back to reality back to reality back to back to life back to reality back to reality back to back to reality back to life back to reality back to reality back to reality everything always used to it seemed like a fallacy back to reality back to reality everything always used to it seemed